I love a girl that keep my mind racing. I can tell it's good just off your conversation. Yeah, I'm not stopping till you're mine. What I had to do to get my camera up here because the ring light camera is the best camera. If y'all don't got it and y'all do YouTube or you like to take pictures, get a ring light camera. I'm gonna put it in. Well, I don't know, cause my Amazon account vlog right now, but I'm gonna put a picture of the ring light that I got that I feel like y'all should get. Okay. Because this camera is just giving what it's supposed to give. And don't mind now. Okay, so y'all excuse me. It's like four o'clock in the morning. But you know what? I'm gonna have better to do. So I said, let me get this video out to my babies because I know y'all been missing me. And a lot of people have been asking me why I do YouTube no more and they want me to do YouTube. Even though I'm going to do it, it's just the girl don't really be having the time. I mean I do, but I'm not consistent with what I'm doing and I'm gonna start being consistent. Cause I know y'all like to see me. I like to do YouTube. I really enjoy doing YouTube. So I'm really going to start doing this more and more. Um, and I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Why well, have I been on YouTube? I have been on YouTube because I've been working a lot. Um, how to deal with personal shit in my life. And I don't want to bring my energy on here and throw your energy off because energy is big for me. I know energy is big for other people and you can be a happy spirit and somebody come around you with a bad spirit or you can feel that bad energy on you, on them, and it can come on to you. So I didn't want to do that, okay? And like, I want to be my best. I want to be happy when I'm doing these YouTube videos. I want to bring enjoyment. I want to try to come back to me. I want to be like, I don't, I don't want to keep watching the sad bitch. Like, who wants to keep watching somebody sad and moping always talking about sad shit? Nobody wants to do that. We want to talk about lit shit, ball shit, how to improve shit, okay? So... Yeah, but I'm about to start being back on my shit. And I'm really going to try to drop a video once a week. If not two videos a week, definitely once a week. Because, y'all, I need to I need to get my shit up. Cause, but I think the last video was like two months ago. Yeah. What can we expect from you on this YouTube channel? Um, Y'all can expect a whole lot of shit. Y'all can expect vlogs. Y'all can expect... I will say pranks, but it just depends on how I feel because I be scared to do certain pranks. Like, I don't know. Like, I be shy for real, y'all. Like, I be wanting to go out and do stuff I see, like, other people doing YouTube. Like, they go out to people ask people questions and stuff. I ain't going to start doing that for real, for real, because that is good content, and that's what's going to bring viewers. And if I want to grow, I got to think outside the box. Okay? I can't be shy. No, even though I'm shy. But, yeah, but you can expect um, advice. Uh, I'm about to start this thing called... Well, I had this thing called Girl Talk, um, Big E Talk. I'm going to bring that back. And also, if you don't know who I Am Zoe is, he did this thing called Messy Talk. And I'm about to start talking about drama that be going on in the industry, in this world, and just give my opinions. Basically, that's what it is. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out what day I'm going to do. It's probably going to be every Friday. I'm going to drop a video like that. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Um, I think I got to come up with a name for that. So, y'all, y'all know any names that's interesting for like a messy talk drop it in the comments below or dm me on instagram or um snap me on snapchat i don't know why i'm like this y'all it's because everybody's sleeping i ain't really trying to be loud for real but i'm trying to get y'all good energy and good vibes so just bear with me yeah but y'all gonna expect a lot from me on youtube just stay tuned watch your girl subscribe to my channel don't just watch me subscribe because subscribers is what get the coins and I need the coins. I got bills to pay. Okay. How am I? How how am I emotionally? Emotionally. Emotionally, I'm good, y'all. I'm not gonna hold you like. Ever since March um 13th, when I wanted to kill myself, like ever since then, I've been great. Like I really been happy and content in my life. Like everything not going like the way I wanted. I'm not saying, y'all. Everything not going the way I wanted to be on our out. Oh my God, I hate when I tongue twist. Everything's not going the way I want it to right now. I didn't reach all my goals and I'm not where I want to be. I'm going to just say that. But I am very content in my life right now and where it's going and where I'm headed. And I am happy. That is where I'm at right now. I am happy in my life though. Um, but you know, I want to be where I want to be. And I got to just keep working hard and be consistent. And just keep going. Keep pushing forward. My advice on dating and having confidence. Well, first off, my advice on dating is a lot of people get dating confused with 
that's your nigga or that's your female or your bitch or whatever excuse me youtube but yeah a lot of people get that confused dating means you can date anybody you want to you are single you are free to do what you want to that is what dating is i need y'all to stop thinking y'all dating somebody and you like what's the one looking for they obligated to stop talking to other people because you're talking to them like no that's called talking stage for a reason like no y'all are dating like that nigga is a lot of date people that female is a lot of date people like y'all just getting to know each other like and honestly i'm gonna be real with you me personally i used to like be the type like i don't want to talk to most niggas because like and that's just me like i used to catch feelings quick and um i just feel like it's too much i don't see how y'all niggas do it like you have to i want to say lie but you got to keep up with all these fucking people you got to meet up meet with all these different people you got to get to know all these different people and go through all these emotions to get to know these people and so many people might want to have sex it's just too much it's just too fucking much me personally i can't fucking do it i really don't want to do it but me being me now i'm gonna say date and be single like don't ever feel like females or i'm gonna say the males so don't ever feel like you need somebody or you need let me ask you i feel like everybody need love i'm gonna be real with you i feel like everybody wants love like genuinely i feel like everybody wants to find that soulmate eventually one day but if you're single stay single until god sees somebody and you feel like you're genuinely love that person like that person and you really feel like y'all clicked and y'all locked in okay but it's okay to date. It's okay to get enough people. Like, they don't have to be a boyfriend or be your girlfriend. Y'all don't even have to have a title. Like, just go with the flow. Like, I'm learning to do that. Just go with the flow. Like, I don't gotta say that's my nigga. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Because honestly, I don't want nobody telling me what to do. Like, it's okay. Like, do you? My advice on having confidence is I mean, really, like, this. You really just gotta be that bitch and, like, and know you that bitch. Like, don't let nobody tell you about yourself because you only you know about yourself like anything you don't like about yourself fix it that's all i can really tell you because i'm very confident in everything about me it's certain things i want to fix about myself but i love everything about me like nobody anybody calling me ugly anything you're a real life hater because bitch it ain't nothing ugly about me like nobody calling me ugly anything will affect the fuck me at all like i know that bitch in real life so yeah i'm just saying like just know you that bitch and do stuff that make you feel pretty i'm gonna say that so yeah how's my relationship with my dad i know because on um, the last video i think on my youtube channel is us going at it we are good now i know i said i'm not gonna with him no more but this is life and that is my dad at the end of the day and you gonna go through situations with your parents or anybody in life and it's up to you if you want to fix it and I chose to fix it and um I said his apology and just move forward because you only get one dad you only get one mom and you only get one life and you never know when that person's gonna leave this world so you might as well try to fix it to your best ability I'm not gonna tell you to let nobody run over you and keep hurting you because sometimes you have to put your foot down but life is short so if you are willing to fix it and you feel like you want to fix it fix it so yes I love my dad and we good we strong we locked in that's my dog. Do I believe in love at first sight? Do I believe in love at first sight or soulmates? I do believe in love at first sight. I feel like you can see somebody and know that like you want to be with them. Like just the way they talk, the way they act, the way they think, like the way they move, like the way they dress. Like this is how they coming for. I feel like you can love at first sight. My ex, Antoine, I fell in love with him at first sight. Like we was talking for a couple months, but when I laid my eyes on him, and then we did what we did we was together ever since we was together for five years after that so i do believe in love at first sight. and i do believe in soulmates everybody has a soulmate i'm gonna tell you that now you probably ain't find that soulmate yet but everybody in this world has a soulmate so yes i do believe in that um but sometimes it can be tricky because sometimes you can think somebody sometimes you can think you in love on first sight but you really you really, you really gotta get to know that person but you know what i mean like you can't fall in love at first sight though because you know it's like sneaking leaking like a sneaking link y'all can just be fucking but somebody eventually probably gonna catch feelings and it could turn into something more because i know a lot of people that started up as sneaky means and now they got kids and now they married now they together so you know anything's possible would i date men with kids i have dated men with kids um i don't think it's nothing wrong with dating men with kids 
I just feel like long just he grown about it and he matured about it and he put the baby mama in her place and he tell her your role and she know her role and it ain't no fishy business going on then everything is everything like me personally i never had an issue with nobody baby mom with kids except for one person and it's only because he lied and said he wasn't with her and then a situation happened and me and her kind of went back and forth but other than that i don't think it's a problem with nobody dancing with kids because women got kids niggas got kids like in the generation we in everybody got fucking kids why well, don't but everybody in this generation got kids. It's actually hard to find a nigga without kids. But lately, I've been finding niggas without kids. But yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with dating a nigga with kids. How I date a nigga with kids. Honestly, me now, I wouldn't. Me now, I wouldn't. Because I just feel like I really want somebody for myself. Like, I want to be somebody first everything. Like, I know I'm not going to be your first fucking partner. But I want to be your first wife, your first real situation, your first real mother of your kids. I don't even like the word baby mama. Like, I want to be the mother of your child. So yeah, I just, that's how I feel about it. Am I single? Am I single? Um, I'm going to say this. Take how you want to say it. Um, I am single. But I have somebody that I fuck with very hard. And I'm just waiting on... Um, him to get out of jail. I'm say that I'm waiting on him to get out of jail. Um, but um, we are both very honest with each other. He know what I do. Somebody can go tell him that I'm fucking with somebody out here or nothing because he knows everything I do and he just a real ass nigga. Like he said, like you know, I'm not gonna tell you what he said. Just know I got a nigga, but I'm single until he come home. But I do have a nigga. But I mean, I'm kind of still available. Like I talk to people. Like I'm gonna say I have friends. Cause you, I never know how the situation gonna go with the nigga in jail, but honestly, that's my nigga, and I'm running for him to the worst fall off. I'm gonna be real with you. So I'm single, but I'm taking. Period. Will I ever be cool? <clears throat> Will I ever be cool with Derek again? Um, honestly, it's no bad blood. I don't feel no way towards that man no more. It's been. I think four or five months since I last seen him or talked to him. Well, I did see him, but um, I see him downtown. But I have not talked to him for like four or five months. And, um, you know, it's still sad how the situation played out. But it hurt it. it hurt. I keep well, fucking say the word hurt it. It did hurt me. I am over it. But it still fucks with me sometimes when it comes in my mind. Like, why the fuck did you do that? But, like I said, I don't wish bad on him. I wish the best for him. Um... But I can't even say we would never be cool again. But I know I wouldn't fuck with him again, though. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, like, fucking with him, like, dating, relationship, fucking, any of that. Like, all that shit is good. I would never do that shit again. Or to my grandmother, like, I'm done. Like, I don't even trust him. So I don't think I really could be cool with him just because he was my friend first anyways. And he already crossed me. In ways, so it's like, how can you really be cool with somebody that crossed you and did you dirty when you didn't even deserve that shit and did do nothing to deserve the shit? You feel me? Like, so I really don't think we would be cool, but I'm not a problem with him. Like, if he speak to me, I'll speak to him. But that's it is what it is. Um, would you ever consider getting a BBL or having surgery? I would never get a BBL because my ass is fat. If you know, you know. Um, I love my body. I love everything about me. I love my little tits and everything. I love my face. I love everything about me. I will never get surgery. But honestly, I don't know. I feel like if I get older, I might get my boobs done. But like a natural look, I might. Boobs. That's it though. Nothing else. I would never get my face touched, my ass touched, legs, nothing on my body except for these boobs. That's it. Um, everything homegrown, baby. What do I like to do for fun? Um, I like to go out to the club. I like to drink. I like to chill with my friends. Um, um, I'm really an outside person. I am, but I'm not. But I like outside activities. Like, I do. Like, I like really doing stuff that I normally wouldn't do. That's what I'm starting to do. So, yeah, I feel like I'm just really simple, honestly. I don't really go out. I would just go to work. On the weekends, I'm off on Saturdays. I go downtown. Other than that, I be in the house and I be working. Like, I'm really boring for real. 
Um, am I a smoker or a drinker? I am a drinker. I do not smoke. I do not like the way it made me feel. I was smoking for a lot of years, and I just think that my body doesn't fuck with it. But I will smoke if I'm drinking. Like, I hit the blunt like five times. That's it. But, like, once I already feel it, I'm good. Like, I don't really, I really don't like smoking. Like, for real, for real. I drink now. I love me a drink. But I like wine when I like liquor. Teleport. I know y'all know. I like teleport. I like Stella Rose. I'm going to start trying new... Not new liquors, but other liquors, because I really fuck with Teleport, though. Because Teleport really should be a liquor, because Teleport really gets you that, like, one glass of wine, you good. Like, Teleport is strong as hell. I fuck with that. So, yeah. I drink. Um, Do I regret anything? Me now, like I said, um, me getting older, I'm really starting, like, to mature more and understand life is life and it is what it is. Shit gonna happen and, you know... You can't really control what happens. Um, I'm learning to not, and y'all know you're not supposed to regret anything. I do regret stuff, but it, it happened. I can't take your shit back. You feel me? Um, if I was to say one thing I regret, because I got this book. Hold on. I got this book, and I would tell anybody to go get it. It's called 3,000 Questions About Me. It's on Amazon. Please go get it. It's really good. Like, It's really good. It's really real like it asks you questions that you wouldn't even think to ask yourself like and it really makes you think about a lot of shit and it's like three thousand questions like come on now and i like it i mean i'm mean, getting back into it because i stopped for a minute but i'm getting back into it i don't see it but one thing i regret honestly cold hardly i regret only two things i regret ugh, i regret not have i gotta speak this video up because it's um uh, 26 questions and i'm only on um, nine um, only thing I regret, oh my god, what the fuck I keep saying that? The only thing I regret is not having one last conversation with Antoine. And I regret, and I regret taking Derek seriously when we could have just and should have stayed best friends. That's the only thing I regret because. That was my best friend, like my real fucking best friend, like till everything to like we had a real friendship. Well I thought. And I just wish we could have stayed like that so we wouldn't be here. But yeah, the only two things I regret. Um What makes me happy? Mm -hmm. Um Money, clothes, shopping, drinking, music my man my best friend yeah i'm really simple okay if i had to take any of my exes back who would it be and why well <clears throat> i won't take none of them back because i ain't doubling back on shit. but you said if i had to take one of my exes back who would it be okay he's not an ex but um y'all don't know him so i'm not gonna say this well his name is les i was talking to him um i would take him back because we didn't it was just wrong timing like yeah i'm gonna say yeah it was wrong timing like we ain't argue nothing like that like we really had a great connection and i feel like he was real and we really was vibing like, i was with him every day and he just Gave me something that I never had before. But, um, yeah, he was real cool, though. Yeah, that's who I would take back. Um, yeah, I'll take less back. If I could change anything about myself, what would it be? If I could change anything about myself is thinking that people have the same heart as me. That's what I would change about me. Like thinking people got the same heart as me and they don't. And reading people more better. Um, I think that's really it. Cause I always be thinking people got the same heart as me and then I realize they really fucking don't. And people attentions really don't be pure and don't be like yours. You feel me? So that's really it. Um. Missionary or bad shots? 
missionary and i know y'all like it, bitch but i know some people fuck with missionary but i know a lot of people fuck with bad shots but me personally i don't got a problem with bad shots but me personally i love missionary like missionary is very intimate like i'm the type like no mind like i like rough fucking but i love making love like i love making love everybody know missionary is a baby making decisions like when you make love i contact all that like missionary is it do i believe in second chances personally no I feel like once somebody show you, show you your true colors, show you their true colors the first time, take that shit and run. Don't look back. But with me, I feel like it depends on the situation because of what they did and how I really felt about it and who the person is. So who the person is and what they did and what, how the situation occurred and how it ended, that's the only reason you get a second chance with me. Other than that, you're not getting a fucking second chances, period. Um, who's my favorite person? My favorite person is my friends and my nigga. Do I have someone I want to talk to? I got my own. I talk to who I want to talk to. I don't got my own nobody. Well, I'm not going to lie. If the situation don't work out, I'm not going to say that because he don't like me saying that because he said he coming home. But, um, he don't like me saying that, which he is coming home. He is, but it's a percentage that he won't. But we can, you know, we pray that he will. But if he don't, I do have somebody I would like to talk to. Hopefully, you know. <laughs> but we're not focusing on that. I got my nigga right now, but yeah. I mean, he know what's up anyways. The person I'm talking about, so. Um, do I have beef with anyone? I don't have beef personally with no one. I don't even dislike, no. Let me not say that, because we don't like nobody, but... I don't have beef with anyone. I don't know if anybody got beef with me. That's their fucking issue. Not mine. I don't have beef with people. I don't do drama. I think that's an ugly trait for a female. And it would be no reason for nobody to not like me or have beef with me because I don't be in drama. I be to myself. I be with the same fucking people on a daily. Talk to the same bitch on the phone every day, all day. And I do me and I work and I go home. So, nah. There would be no reason for nobody to have beef with me. But, hey. You know, bitches got what's the word the secret animosity you know how that go um what made you start rapping well i was rapping in 2017 but i wasn't really taking it serious and then i was posting videos here and there and people was making fun of me like saying i couldn't rap and shit but it's not really why i started to start because i really was doing shit for fun anyways i wasn't really trying to be a rapper um and then i made one song um a remix to drake do not disturb and that went viral on facebook um i knew i need to record that song because everybody did fuck with that song for real for real it was like a love hurt song kinda um and i stopped after i did that i stopped because i still wasn't taking it serious and then this year um i met somebody last year um, around july or whatever and um he rapped he rapped he sang both and um I fought with his music and then we went to the studio one day and I saw him I really went around. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna say what you guys. So we went to the studio and I did my song and I'm gonna post the link to both of my songs um, in the description. Make sure y'all go check that out because I really can rap. I feel like I can rap, but you know, everybody got their own opinion. And I'm just starting off. I'm not the best. I'm not saying I'm the best because I know I'm not. But um, I really fought with my music. Um, I feel like my lyrics are very fucking hard. I do feel like I do need to slow down on my music, like on the beat just a little bit like, i need to learn how to take breaths in and out but i'm gonna learn that um but yeah i really didn't want to be a rapper i really just did that for fun but people said they really like my song and my music so i'm taking it serious now like seriously because i like the way i rap like i like my raps like i do i really do it for fun like if somebody was to sign me i wouldn't say no but i would not sign it to nobody if you in qc I'm not signing to you to, to you. I'm gonna be real with you. Like I believe I just want a manager. I wanna drop my music when I wanna drop my music. I wanted to do what the fuck I wanna do. So yeah. But QC is the only person I would ever sign, so but yeah, that's what made me want to brown. And just for it was just for fun. Um how are you dealing with the passing of your ex? Um, you know, I have my days where I cry, I think about it, sad. Um, but I'm dealing with it. Like, it's not really hard on me. Like, I really was in the beginning, but like I said, I had my days. But I mean, I'm really, I'm good. But you know, I miss him. 
so yeah how do you deal with your pain and your feelings i eat that shit up and throw that shit out the fucking window because in this fucking day you can't have no fucking feelings for real for real man because once you show your feelings that's when you get fucked up and i'm learning that well i've been learning that from my ex like i just at the us breaking up and dealing with niggas i'm good like i'm good so um i just i really deal with it like if somebody hurt me i might cry one day or two days maximum and i'm over it the next day I honestly like and i'm glad i'm like that like i actually prayed to god to install that in me like to make me cold hearted and not give a fuck and he really did like like once i feel like i'm i'm catching feelings for you i'm uh back up just because like like i said you don't know people's intentions you don't know if people feel the same way you feel and nowadays niggas ain't shit so yeah like that's how i deal with it like i just eat that shit pray about it move the fuck on um what are your goals i have a lot of goals i want to be a nail tech and i'm going to school for that real soon before this year's out um i want to own a whole bunch of shit i want to have my own radio station so i'm gonna start doing podcasts i'm gonna start that next year um that's how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start that year. Cause I gotta do one thing at a time. Can't do everything at once, you know. Shit take time. And I'm young. Know, I got time, but I don't got time. Cause you know, life is short. But I got time. Y'all get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm on my own radio business. So I'm gonna start doing podcasts. Um, I want my YouTube to grow and grow bigger. Um, I want to be a rich bitch. Yeah. Um, what made you talk to a man in jail? That is a good question. Cause bitch, I don't know. Honestly, I always told myself because of the shit I heard, like how niggas are in jail. Like they say one thing, they get out, they do a whole different shit. You know, they don't really stand on their word. So I always told myself I never talk to a man in jail. But I'm gonna do a story time on how I met my man in jail. I'm gonna do a story time on that. But um. But what, what, what made me start talking to him is his vibe. Um, like, the way he made me feel, what we talk about. Like, I just really fuck with him. Like, he a grown-ass man, literally. Like, grown mindset. I love the way he think, the way he talk, the way he act, the way he look. Everything. Like, I, like everything I ever wanted in a man, he is. Like, real shit. Like, we don't argue ain't no bad blood like he put me up on game he teach me shit we learn from each other like we have a good strong fucking bond like i love that man dead ass free you baby but yeah that's when we start talking to him like i just fuck with him like he just real fucking genuine like he has a good fucking heart and like he really loved me for me so yeah but i'm gonna do a story time on that real soon and then hopefully he get out we can do a story time together about you know how he was in jail and his trauma behind it and you know what he learned from going to jail and what he doing now so yeah but i'm gonna start time on this um but hope y'all enjoy the video make sure y'all like make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel ring that bell for post notifications to be the first one on the upload a video and make sure y'all subscribe 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 and make sure y'all go check my songs out seriously i just dropped song friday last friday no i tried to saturday i tried to saturday i tried to saturday um so yeah make sure y'all stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more content because i'm not playing i'm dead serious i know y'all get tired of me saying this shit but i am back and i'm better and i'm dropping content a video every week i don't know when y'all get this video today is i'm like today is what wednesday yeah um Y'all get this video Friday. Y'all get this video Friday. So, yeah, but make sure y'all like this video and check my music out. The link to my music will be in the description. It's on SoundCloud. And thank you for supporting me. All the people that really support me. I love y'all. Y'all my babies. And I'm out.